shots. I'll cover it tomorrow night, but one of the one of the traits we want of our cricketers is curious. What does that mean to you? Uh, wants to explore and learn new things. Yeah, and just like when you hit a good shot, like what happened? Yeah. Why was that good? Yeah. Like which is the opposite sort of of judging. That was really good, that was really bad, let's move on. Just constantly try and understand and learn. Yeah. Take your time, reset, relax, and then reset. Really You're alright. We all are at this time of year. Nice. Have you, ta when did you take the bat tap out? Okay. Uh, yep. One. Yes. Solid. Good. I reckon that, okay, I'll ask you a question. What do you reckon are the main scoring areas in your game at the moment? Um, cover point region. Yep. What? And straight. Yep. Cover point front or back foot or both? Mm, probably more front foot, but nearly the same amount back yep. foot. Yep. I reckon like, I reckon you're strong there off the back foot. Yeah. Like you are off the front foot as well, but I reckon this, that sort of back foot sort of punch and cut yeah. could become one of your real weapons. Yeah. So something, something come a long way yeah, since I yep. And, and obviously every, you want every part of your game to develop, but I reckon that can be a real scoring shot. When the bowler misses a little bit short and wide, you hurt him, yeah? yeah? Right. Something just to keep in mind, keep working on. One. All good. There's a, there's, what are your first thoughts after that? Okay, why? Yeah, so there's a not like the, the old, the basics of batting is you go full to, forward to a full ball and you go back to a sh short ball. Yeah. However, Steve Smith's thrown that out the window. <laughs> Brian Lara threw that out the window. Yeah. So Smith, he'll often sort of move back and across and you'll sit here and you'll often drive off the back foot to yeah. a full ball. But what he's done is he's got himself into a set base. Mm. He's watched the ball incredibly closely and then he's used a nice position, nice shape to hit the ball into the gap. Yeah. So I don't think you have to yeah. go forward. Yeah. So there, you're in a set position. You could have just trusted your hands and smacked it. Yeah. Okay. But the ball came, you went back and you went, oh, I've made the wrong decision and you sort of, yeah. does that make sense? Through. So that's an old school thing and it's right to an extent. You don't want to be going forward to balls coming through here. Yeah. And generally, you want to be coming forward to the half volley. Yeah. But if you just get set and watch it closely, you'll be able to hit it. Right. Yeah? Yes, hold it. Curious, good position. Good outcome. Beautiful mole. That's the one I'm talking about. Lovely there. Lovely there. Solid. The main thing for you right now while you're under practiced, I think is just really trying to stay as still as you can for as long as you can. Because your sort of timing's not right, you haven't been playing much, you're just slightly early. So just try and move everything late. Delay your movement. Good. Good technique, good footwork. Shot. Give me a rating out of 10 on the power of that shot. 10's bit like absolute best it could be. Okay, so not close to the top, but not terrible. Yeah. How can you get it better? Quicker hands, maybe? Okay, yep. Or better position with my feet? Yep, what, what position are you in? Get, come up here and show me what you think. What fit, where are you finishing after you've hit those two pull shots? Yeah, where you should you be? Yeah, 
Yes, you answered your own question, well done. That'll get you more power. You go across and then you can go back into the ball. You finish this way and you're going away from the ball sort of thing. Well played. Better, better. Still a little bit, but at contact, you're sort of more in line and then you finish over. Better. Better contact, wasn't it? Well played. Okay, I'm gonna suggest a couple of things with your setup. While we're fresh and we've got time to work on technique. Get in your stance for me, please. Okay, two things. I think right now you look like you're quite tense. And although you're sort of trying to keep your chin and shoulders together, which is good, I reckon you can relax your shoulders. That's it, you just, you just like relax back here a bit. That's it, okay? Something that I've changed a little bit in the way I coach, I used to think like shoulder really side on. Yeah. To get, to allow your head to be forward and straight, so right there, you're sort of facing this way. Yeah. So to allow your head to be sort of forward and straight, just don't be afraid to open that a little bit. Yeah. And just there. So your hips are still side on, your feet are side on, but your shoulder is now just a little bit more open to allow the space for your head to be forward and still. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. So before when I watched you, it looks like you're sort of like, <laughs> yeah, so just relax. You watch the best players, they're in like quite a, they've got good posture. Yeah. They're just quite relaxed but ready to go, yeah? Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Cool, second thing, you're right hand dominant. Yeah. You're very much right hand strength, which yeah. is like most players. Especially when we have a break from playing, our left side goes weak and goes yeah. sloppy, which is what's happening. However, I reckon if we make a slight change to your bat in your pickup, yeah. it'll engage your left side more. Okay. So show me what you normally do. Okay, hands are in a lovely position. I reckon if we, Lower the toe a little bit. Mm -hmm. Keep that top wrist really strong. Yeah. Okay, now getting you look face forward as if you're gonna face forward. Relax, that's it. Okay. What that's gonna do is from there as you step forward towards a, a, a sort of a straightish ball, full ball, you have to pick your hands up. Yeah. And that brings this into the game. Okay. When you start, when you start with your toe up a bit like this, yeah. what can be the, a, a sort of an issue is you never actually then bring your your toe up higher and your hands up, and you just sort of jab at the ball with your bottom hand. Yeah. Not just you, this is a fundamental yeah. of batting. So by sort of starting here, hands stay high but toes low, you're not really gonna just go from there and hit. Mm. You're gonna sort of know, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the bat up and then that brings this into the shot more. So without even having to do anything different, all you're doing is that, yeah. hands stay the same, and hopefully, if you keep your top wrist strong, it'll engage your left side a bit more. Alrighty. Make sense? Yeah. So just try those couple of things in your setup for me. Now, it's important for me to say as well on top of that, these are like pre-ball set up internal focuses. Yeah. Then, because we're on the side arm, I want you to go shoulder, head, toe, check, 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 yeah. and then watch the ball, watch the ball. What, yeah. Try and clear your mind of that okay. as I'm about to throw the ball. Right. So you go from what's an internal cue to an external cue. Yeah. Good, shoulder that way slightly, yep, head, yeah, that's it. Good. I'm not fussed about the outcome here, just want you to try and feel it. Shot, mole. Yes, that's an even better shot than earlier. Why? Yep, and I reckon you use this a bit more. You got in a good position, then you just engage both sides, not just your right. Well done. Shot, good girl, great footwork. Great footwork. Well watched onto the bat. Good. Make sure as I'm about to throw, you really squeeze that top wrist. Good, good. Shot, Molly, shot of the day. 
Feel good? Well done. That's what you're capable of. Now you're just in here, bang. Footwork excellent, shape excellent. All good. It's all right. Be curious and then forget about it. Well played. Yes, mole. Beautiful. Say that again. Yep. And that feels good? Yeah, good. Awesome. Yep, awesome. Awesome. Because, yeah, I want you to be able to understand it and buy into it yeah. and, and you feel it. Because if it doesn't feel good, it doesn't make any sense, mm. I, I don't want you to do it. Yeah. But I know that there's logic to it and there's, but m like logically, having our bat up makes you think, oh, I got more time. Yeah. Because, and everyone says it like, okay, my bat's already up. I don't have to pick it up. So I'm saving myself time. Yeah. But we're not like when we actually look into the nitty gritty of it, we don't need more time. No. We actually want to move as late as possible. And then we want to be up in a, we want to have a fluent flow, yeah. not a move and jerky mm. flow. So yeah, awesome, yeah. awesome. It's, it's, you've hit the ball better through the offside already. Yeah. Couple off the back foot, couple off the front foot, just by that change. Yeah, yeah small. Still can work on that finishing position, but you're nailing that now. Curious? Don't need to tell. Don't need to tell me. Just think through it. Played. Shot. Excellent, Molly. Great position. Great. Where the ball went exactly where you wanted it to go. Well done. That's the one length today you've been a bit off. That's all right. We'll get there. All good. Be curious. Problem solve. Why does it go squarer than where you want it to go? Yep. Yep. Have you heard me say the expression, your hands follow your hips? Okay. What do you think I mean by that? Exactly. So the ones you're slicing, you're sort of getting too front on too early. Yeah. Your hands want to follow like the direction of your hips because yeah. they're connected and you end up coming right across the ball. And it... So the ones you've hit really well, what do you think you're doing? Same, yeah, yeah, excellent. Good. How'd that feel? That's the same ball you've got hit on the pad a few times. So that one you've looked to hit straighter for one, and then you've engaged your left side for two. But the other ones you've probably gone a bit, bit too square at times. Nice Molly, I love how that bounced before it hit the net. Excellent batting. Good. G'day legends. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Please like, comment and share. If you are still watching this video and you've watched it the whole way through, well done and thank you. I hope you learned something from it. I came home and told my wife that I think that was one of my best ever coaching sessions. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I feel like I gave a lot of value and I feel like Molly, the player, really responded well and put what I was saying into practice. So I was really, really proud and of how that session went. I think there's so much value in it for any young cricketer. So if you are a keen cricketer, I'd encourage you to write down what are the key things you took out of that. Maybe you can go back and replay a few things. I think there's so many messages there that you can implement into your game. So much theory that you can then go away and practice. Stay tuned for part B, coming very, very soon. Please like, comment and share. Get, share this with your friends, your teammates. Show the value to them. Help us get our brand out further, our business out further. I'll be really, really grateful for that. But thanks for watching, Legends, and we'll see you soon.